So this is Pacific White Min. Um, that's a very nice fish. So pretty much uh, I put this season the lemon pepper and put a little bit earlier on. I put some of this Goya adobos all purpose seasoning. Just put a little bit, you know, on there. Um, usually I use the fillet. I use the fillet. Of course you need the I let that set for about 30 minutes. Um, you need to peak. Just in case if you're wondering why I have that much of water, is the water that drained from the fish. I had a whole lot earlier on. So pretty much we're gonna use that toothpick to hold it together. Okay. It's wrapped or rolled. I'm gonna do the other ones. I have quite a few on the other side too that I don't prior to setting up. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Okay. Let's sit that on this side. There's one more. We're gonna fold that in as well. So this is the other ones that I already rolled prior to starting this video and I'm going to start frying them. So in there I put um, olive oil. I added that earlier on. Um, put quite a few, about 3-4 cups um, in there. So the readily wrapped fish I'm going to just sit in there. I'm going to put a couple more. Alright. It looks like I can squeeze another little one in there. There you go. So we're going to of course let that fry. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Okay? Give this a second. We're going to turn the thing so we can get it fried on the other side. Alright, and those ones are already cooked. We got a few more to go. So, on this other side, I am trying to get some garnish going well, to go with the fish. So here I have a lot, I have like four <laughs> bell pepper and I have two onions and in the corner there I have scotch bonnet uh, and a little bit of um, habanero all mixed together in there. Let's see if this is ready. Got some olive oil in there as well. Throw that in there and give it some time to cook. A lot of spices, so pretty much adding to it um, a little more taste. With this, I'm gonna let that fry uh, for some time. And uh, shake a little bit of the adobo all purple seasoning on it. Just a little bit. Gonna have some Maggie. I'm using the gnaw. Uh, throw that in there.
and we'll let it cook and when I come back in the next few seconds um, we'll pour it on the on the on the fish on the fried fish and we'll see what it looks like I'm gonna stir that up let it cook for as long as you want um, I'm gonna let this cook a little bit more if you like your onions crunchy and your bell pepper crunchy as well this will be the time that you get it out of here and put it right on the on the fish it's, I tasted it earlier on it's nice and um, spicy very tasty I love bell pepper Ooh, it's yummy the taste of it will blow you away so we're gonna give that another few more minutes like I said you will be able to judge as to when this is cooked enough for you if you want it crunchy let it cook a lot longer if not you can pour it in right now um, I got all the seasoning I didn't put salt in it I tried to just uh, I tend to use just the the Maggie all by itself without any salt as well as the adobo adobo um, seasoning in there as well if you want to add salt you can you can add as much as you want on it after another few minutes gonna stir that up ready so got that out of the way and we are gonna pour that right on the fish and that little water uh, the sauce dripping in there is gonna soak into the fish overnight and by the time it's ready to um, be served tomorrow because I'm not having this today it's Super Bowl tomorrow so by the time this sits overnight it would have taken in a lot of those juice from the bell pepper and the, the other ingredients so it's just about it and when I bring it out tomorrow I'm just gonna put it in the oven for just a little bit just to warm it up I'm not gonna warm it in the microwave that will help it to take in a lot more um, of the source in the in the pan as well it's good to go thank you for watching it's served. It's looking like that. Looks good. Please like our video. Um, thank you once again for watching. Have a nice evening. Bye bye.